Hi, this is Eric Sloof and I'm at the Vieira booth, the Internet of Things. And during the keynote this morning, Pat Gelsinger announced something really cool. We had a Raspberry Pi running ESXi. So I'm joined by Alexander Feinkiechen. Alexander, how are you? I'm doing just great. Thank you. Thank you. So you're the guru. You have invented this, didn't you? Uh, well, in some, so in, in some sense I have, yes. So what do we have here? I see a Raspberry Pi. I see some sensors attached to a solid run appliance. The Raspberry Pi is attached to a screen. Can you explain a little bit what's happening here? So uh, what we're showing here is basically two platforms that are running SXI on, on, on ARM. The uh, Raspberry Pi is uh, our latest achievement um, in terms of uh, putting SXI on a platform with the limited resources on it. Uh, we're really proud of that. And uh, the Solid Run Macchiato Bean is our offering uh, for the uh, edge market um, uh, in uh, being a gateway platform that we want to see there. Okay. Yes. So, and uh, what are those sensors picking up? Is it temperature or sound or pressure? Uh, one of them is a weather sensor. It shows humidity, pressure, and, and temperature. The other one, I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, actually, uh, I was told it would send some uh, explosive uh, materials. Okay, okay. Can you show it on the screen that it actually is connected? Yeah, uh, on, on the big screen, what I can show you is a, a process of Pi booting. Give me a second. Here. Yes, and on um, so here's the Raspberry Pi logo. It will be replaced by ESX running on it in, in just a few seconds. Oh, cool! It's really fast. Oh, cool! It's now loading the drivers. It's now loading the modules that I needed to boot. Yeah, it, it has a few drivers on it actually as well. Right? Is it the same the foot same footprint as as a regular ESX I host, or is it stripped down? No, it's stripped down significantly to make it run on uh, on on a con constrained platform. Yes. And uh, on the gateway, on the computer screen, you can uh, you can see the um, ESX UI running on this on this platform, HTML5, the whole nine yards, one Ubuntu VM running on it, with the sensors being connected through USB pass through to that VM and showing the data in a, in a, in a real time. So the Raspberry Pi is actually hosting a virtual machine. Raspberry Pi does not. Oh, okay. Uh, no, the, this one does. Okay, so what does the Raspberry Pi do with ESXi on it? Uh, right now, nothing. We actually, it started like a, a side project from uh, in, in our team. And the, the basic idea was maybe it, since ESX is a full operating system, as you might know, uh, we can use the ability of that operating system to, to run specific VMware applications. And one of them uh, that we thought about was the the um, the vSun, so you can have a forty dollars uh, uh, at, at forty dollars of cost, you can have a, a vSun witness node on it. Ah, okay. So the vSun module, the witness module, is running in the kernel of the ESXi host, and you're using that functionality to create a physical witness host. Oh, absolutely. Yes, that that's exactly what it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And when I attach storage to this device, can I also put it in a vSAN cluster? Oh, yes. Yes, we have ported vSAN uh, a year ago. It started as a project for one of our interns, and uh, it uh, ended up in, uh, in, in, in complete success. Oh, yeah, a okay. Raspberry Pi cluster yes. attached to USB keys. Oh, we, we did it on real server, server plat platforms, the Raspberry Pi came a little later, but yeah, it, it, it is possible today. So when I have a very tiny VM with a very small footprint, tiny Linux for instance, yes. could I migrate that virtual machine onto the Raspberry Pi? In the near future, we, we, we're certainly looking forward to implementing this functionality really soon, yes. Okay, but when you look at vCenter, is it the full citizen? Can you manage this ESXi instance just like a regular ESXi host in the vCenter server? That, that was the idea behind it. We wanted to, uh, to 
to keep up the good the good stuff that we already have, especially on the management plane. So right now the v we we have an implementation of vCenter that can connect to those servers as of today, and you can you you, you can integrate them into cluster, manage them the, the the very same way you used to do with x86. Okay. Yes. And, uh, when you hit this sensor, is there something happening on the screen or? Uh, yeah, the, the, you can see the data changing in real time. If I blow onto it, the temperature will change. And, and yeah, please. You see. There you oh, go. Yeah, there it goes. There yeah, it goes. very well. Okay, many thanks for the interview. I'm excited to see this release of ESXi. When can we expect some binaries? I'm not sure I'm at liberty to discuss this particular subject. What I can tell you, though, that internally we are uh, we're looking at the uh, we are trying to define to see if the market is there. Once this task is complete, we will move forward with the productization. But will possibly. there will there be a special beta version for Christmas? Mm. Most likely not, I'm oh. sorry. Oh, it's a pity. Well, thanks for the interview anyway, and uh, uh, yeah, it's great. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.